IT chair, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello. Bye. Uh, fine. Nice, perfect. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the class. Yes, thank you. Okay. Let's wait a little bit more for the other people. Yes, okay. Chef. Yes, tell me. Is, uh, me voy a, bueno, en español se lo voy a decir porque todavía no entramos. <risa> okay. eh, me, me, voy a, me voy a ausentar un ratito porque tengo que ir a mover el, un, un carro y tengo que traerlo para acá, para la colonia. Pero okay. voy a dejar activo aquí todo hoy. Así ok, que, good. Por eso. Ok. <risa> Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class.
and we're going to wait just two more minutes just to wait for the rest of the people. Okay, welcome everybody to the class number eight. So we're going to start and I hope you had a very nice day. So of course, the first thing that we're going to check is the platform. So this is the class of today, the one that we're recording. And then here is the question for today. So for you to participate on that one. Okay. and. Uh, we're going to check the attendance. So let's see how it goes. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Salmi Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. On time. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Teacher present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Ophelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Um, Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Good evening. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Good evening, present teacher. Good evening. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lispeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start the class of today. We're going to check some vocabulary and then we're going to check about the, the book. And at the end, we're going to do a little activity. Let's see how it goes. So, so we're going to continue with the logistics and management tips. So we have different tips that we can 
taking account. So whenever you want to implement some logistics into your company or your business. Okay, so Nelson, could you please read the first one, the number one? Okay, teacher. A title, logistics management tips. Number one, have a strong plan. Start early and be strong. Very good. So have a strong plan. Start early and be thorough. So what do you understand here, Nelson, in this number one? For me, and I think that when when I start in the in the in the business of the company, and the first is the, is the or or person is the participator is a, have the plans and the fear the the manufacturing the the products in the in the material material print. I don't know, I don't know, but in the in, I think the the fears it the it the early uh, have the plans uh, when in the development and in, in the in the business of the product I think. okay well, perfect thank you so yeah number one is have a strong plan of course the key word here is plan to have a plan to think in advance about what you are going to do, how you are going to do it. Start early, it means that with anticipation, if you know that you need to do something, well, you need to start right away. And be thorough means that it means to be, uh, to take in consideration everything completely, okay? So number two, um, Sandra, could you please? May a plan be anticipate, please, and ensure that we rise. And what do you understand on this one? Uh, un second is uh, uh, prepare uh, for uh, for uh, other uh, problem in the company. Uh, uh, afuera? Outside. Uh, extra, extra, outside the, uh, the, the employees and in, 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 in the manufacturing interno, interno, uh, uh, prepare para for risk. Uh, um, los, los, eh, los increase eh, en sales, en mainness, en eh, los eh, raw material. Okay, I very see. good. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So definitely, in number one, we have a plan, right? So anticipate what is going to happen, but sometimes things are not the way that we planned. So of course we need to have other plan in case something arises. So anticipate risks, something might be happening. What happens if the, uh, I mean, if the truck got damaged in the transportation? What happens if the, um, the government delays uh, the papers for the delivery? What happens if anything happens? So you need to be ready for that one and then uh, be ready for that. So number three. Um, in this part, it's very important to, to have insurance uh, related to maybe uh, for warranties, don't compliance with the customer, for example. The company... Uh, uh, maybe um, has a policy related to to response to the customer for a possible loss. Losses. That is true. That is true. Definitely, that is part of the anticipation. So 
you have an insurance in case mm -hmm. something happens, right? You have some contact, to you have- To pay teacher, to pay uh, insurance for risk. Yeah, that is very important. For big companies, that is, that is something that we need to do, right? Very good. Number three is going to be for Osmin. Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Hire a manager. Ensure they they experience, experience and scale it teach. Okay, what do you understand on this one, Osmin? Uh, teacher, I, I understand uh, it's important to uh, hire a manager uh, uh, what have experience in the material. Very good. And have experience in, in, in now the product, now the competence. In, in other words, the manager uh, have experience only. Very good, perfect. So you can, you must actually hire a manager, an expert somebody that knows about logistics, about your product, about risks, about many things. So that is the leader that is going to be in front of, of the company in these kinds of situations, knowing what happens in, in an emergency, knowing what they need to do. Good. Number four is for Ada Patricia. Hire a manager and number four, their, please. Uh, excuse me. Automate it, make a um, workflow more efficient. Very good. What do you understand on this one? Mm, I don't know. Uh, the personal uh, um, agilis artificial. Make faster something. Make faster the work. For the work more efficient. I don't know. Very good, perfect, that is it. So automate, meaning that you are going to ha have the processes, the procedures, the tasks in automatic, right? So everybody knows what they need to do. So um, it's going to be more efficient, definitely. At the end, it's going to be a way for the flow of the materials and everything related to that one is going to move in a smooth way. Good. Number five is going to be for Mayra. Okay, number five, learn from mistakes. Don't make the same mistake twice. Okay, what do you understand on this one? Um, for me, this point is about uh, learning from mistakes uh, help us to do things differently. Always looking for the best way. Very good, that is it. So we're not perfect. The systems are not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So maybe sometimes we're going to do some mistakes, but we need to correct them. We need to um, analyze them uh, so that doesn't happen again. That is it. Good. Questions about this one? What's meaning twice? Uh, which one? Twice. What mean twice? Yeah, twice is two times. Time? Time? Two, two times. Like, for example, I drink water three times a day. So this is twice, two times. Okay. Perfect. Any other question? I, I teacher, I think uh, learn from mistakes. Include is important in, in any project because the, the personnel uh, have now uh, more experience for me, in close mistakes, it is, is important. That is true. So to learn from mistakes and correct them is very, very important for any project, right? So that is true. Good, perfect. 
Okay, so we are going to move to uh, this part that is uh, event logistic strategies to avoid chaos on site. So to avoid mistakes, mm -hmm. to avoid things that are not good. I'm going to make this a little bit larger because I know yes. that the letters are a little bit tiny. Okay, so there is it. So the first one, it says, find and secure your venue. Let's see, um, Anna Michelle, could you please read the first one? Yes, find the secure your venue. While searching venues, consider the options that help helps in building brand value, choosing non-tradition venues, such as airport, hangars, or greenhouses can create buzz on social media, which might attract a greater number of audience. Perfect. What do you understand about this one? Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand that uh, when when we have uh, a business, we need to consider um, every every option to uh, catch different different audience for your product. So we need always uh, try to try to get more audience in different platforms uh, for example uh, social media or traditional traditional um, uh, for example uh, television radio so to to attract attract more clients yes attract more clients okay perfect yes so uh, in this situation it's like uh, find and secure the places or the companies that you are going to work with your partners the people that is going to accompany not only you but the products and services that you are going to deliver so that's why it says while searching venues so of course you are going to search for partners for people that are going to work with you, consider the options that helps in building brand value. So something or company, somebody that is going to add something for the procedure, for the product, for the customer service. Do you remember that we say the customer service is one of the most important things because it's like the face that in front of the company. So this is it. So whenever you are getting people to work with you, we need to choose carefully, right? And it says, the, go ahead. The, the place in, in the process of the logistic is, um, is a key decision for the business because it's very important who is, um, where is the, the, the central of the proposal can you say main el lugar principal teacher the uh, principal place you can say the principal place uh, related to the 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 process of the logistic for example in el salvador the big company who needs um, a lot of uh, mobility for the uh, inventories, uh, the, the distribution um, process, uh, try to, to build in or rent the big, uh, the big uh, space uh, out, where, out. Uh -huh. External out, outside. Oh, yeah, out of the town. Que Saltepec, for example. A yeah. lot of the company because it's uh, on the wrong. <laughs> it is a, it's a key decision. The very, very important the, the 
where is the best place for the business. Perfect, very good. That is it. I mean, places uh, are very important. So and that's why uh, it says that sometimes also as a strategy, you can choose non-traditional venues such as airport hangar. So that is a, a very traditional, right? Like you say in Casaltepec, there are places that are specialized in this one. Uh, in Santa Tecla, there are also places for, like warehouses and things like that uh, in San Bartolo. But uh, you can, as a strategy, uh, choose something different with um, an impact in the environment, for example, and that is going to attract new customers. So that is something that we can also do. Good, the next, go ahead. Okay, for logistic business, it's very necessary to come with a big place because it's very important to have a different uh, warehouse for different a customer for different kind of product for different um, a kind of service is very necessary to come with a, a big place. That is true. So depending on the on the products, uh, you need a big, a huge place and also with nice mobility with the right conditions, right? Yeah. Good, perfect. So the next one is going to be for, let's see, Rose. Okay. Plan, from, plan for entry and exit flow. Even planning must be complete beginning to the end. All the entries, exits, or exits in case of emergency should be clear. Very well. So that is it. What do you understand on that one? Oh my God. In that case, maybe they are they are talking about that. Uh, uh, we have to. We have to kneel. We have to. Uh, the ex the axis or and the entries uh, I don't know at the at the place uh, can be identified. That's the that's the way that exceeds the the commit the evacuate commit commit at the companies to to help the employees. Uh, that they know uh, all the entries and all the exits in case of emergency. And that's in that in this way, uh, they, um, how do you say, uh, evitar, avoid. Avoid, yeah. Uh -huh. They avoid the, cow, the cows, cows, cows or shells. Chaos. Chaos, yeah, chaos. Uh -huh. They avoid the chaos when an emergency happens at the company. Very good, that is it. So, but, uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. go ahead. No, no, sorry. <laughs> Teacher, I, I have other point of view. For me, in, entry is a request of customer and exit is a delivery of service. Um, for example, uh, it, it is very necessary that all operate process uh, that people work in, in this part uh, know all the process because in case of emergency, all people how to workflow work uh, because it's very necessary and replay the request at uh, the customer. It's my for, for not view. Yeah, actually, far. yeah, actually, uh, talking about entry and exit, uh, it might be depending on the process, right? The procedure. In this case, uh, it's about the chaos on site, meaning the physical place. But you are right. Some uh, the entry is whenever a customer needs something and when we deliver the service or the products, that is like the exit in a procedure. 
So, in this situation, yes, we need to plan uh, how is going to be the entry of product services or anything and the exit. And in case we need other exit, uh, also in case of emergency, we need to be clear on that one and people need to know that as well. It's not only that you plan that one, but also people need to know what is going to be that emergency or the plan for the emergency. Okay, the next one is for floor, the Maria. Okay, teacher, use technology to stream, streamline even logistic. Use of technology can save time, money, and healthcare of staff members. Use the application or try tracking system that helps in automatic repair. Rep Repetitive. Repetitive task. Very good. What do you understand on this one? Um, I, I think the necessary they use technology for for the uh, have exit in the process. Very good. So technology definitely is something that we can apply into logistics, right? So for example, in the first one, it says use of technology can save time, definitely. And remember the time is also money and headache of staff members. So uh, imagine that you have a big, big, enormous, huge warehouse and your boss comes and say, I need this product, this specifically, what is it? I mean, if you don't have a system, if you don't have the technology, you cannot go there and look one by one where is that one in the middle of everything, right? So uh, a piece of technology that allows you track where are things is going to be in logistics, very important. Good, the next one is going to be for Pamela. Um, Cray contain, sorry, I'm going to, uh, Cray contain contingency plans. Use learning from past events and create the plan for unexpected things. Brief all the staff members to execute these plans in case of emergency. Okay, what Next do you under? Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't write any other thing. So um, mm. could you please tell me what do you understand on that? Uh, well, we need also in every case to have a, a plan of we need to have a, um, in a negative way, we have an emergency and we need to uh, resolve the problem. Very good, that is it. So as we say in the other slide, right? So mm -hmm. sometimes there are errors around mistakes and there are mm -hmm. risks at all times. So we need to have a plan B in case something happens. So we need to be ready for unexpected things. Or if something happens, you create a plan so this doesn't happen anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Good. The last one is going to be for, uh, let me see. Jancy. Uh, teacher, I don't see. Can you? Uh, so we. Is oh, better like okay. that. Good. Yes. Be generous with refunds. In case you find an unhappy attendant, it's very to give. Uh, then refund. This reduces the risk of negative spray. Uh, that is your it. text here. Okay. Okay. What uh, do you understand this? Yeah. In this case, uh, is a uh, waste decisions refunds a uh, uh, unhappy attendance because 
this can generate um, more problems and it's better it's better about this okay yeah this is related with customer experience right whenever mm -hmm. customers the final customers or any kind of customer that we have is not happy it's better for for us to give the money back so in that case mm -hmm. uh, they are going to be satisfied um, I believe that that happens in any business. I mean, if you go to a restaurant and the food is not good and you say uh, a complaint to somebody there in the restaurant, they are going to say, don't worry, I'm going to give you something else or you don't have to pay for this one. So things like that. So you at least you are satisfied on that one. Maybe the food was not good, but at the end you didn't pay for that one. So that is something that is very, very important at the end. Any questions on this? Okay, let's continue. So, also we're going to speak about some people that are necessary whenever we are in logistics. This is going to be kind of fast. So, uh, there are people in the logistic department that has a role. Let's see what happens with uh, the first one. Guadalupe, could you please read the first one? Okay, teacher. Um, maintain a record record of material that are stored in a warehouse or distribution center. Uh, receives and come items as they are placed into the first inventory. Compares item quantity that are physical present in the warehouse to that facility, facility inventory records. Label the stock, use radio frequency identif identification, RFID, tag, paper tag, or other type of labeling equipment. Very good, perfect, thank you. So this is like the most basic, right? This is like when you finish the university and you're looking for a job, this is the job that, that you get. So it's the most basic. So the inventory clerk, do you know what is a clerk? No, it's like an employee, but it's like an employee or a, how do you say perfil? I don't know, maybe. Pro, profile. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah, the clerk say is like... Boss? So boss, office, office? It's not like the boss. Actually, it's like an assistant or something like that. Office? Yeah, it's somebody that is uh, in charge of uh, some things, but it's, it's, it's the lowest part of the, of the department, okay? So in this case, the inventory clerk, of course, is somebody that is in charge of the inventory. And that's why it says the first one maintains a record of material... Perfect. Yeah, it's like a person. So I might say a record of materials that are stored in a warehouse or distribution center. So definitely they are the ones who keep the record of the materials there, right? And then the second one, it says receives and counts items. So they go and count physical. They go to the warehouse and they, they are sure that uh, the amount, the quantities are correct, okay? compares item quantities that are physical present in the warehouse to the facilities inventory records. This is very important. So in paper or in the systems, there is a number. So they have to go and count and compare audit if the numbers that we have in the system is the one that we have in the warehouse. So that we, is- in, in my case, we count every 15 days, the product versus the the system that is something that is necessary for logistics yes. definitely yes so and of course maybe there are some differences but they shouldn't be that big yeah right? there oh uh, my how can i say the best the best is that uh, there isn't a difference but 
suddenly appears in, uh, and I ask what happened here, and I had to check the papers, all the, the outs, the, my God, the, I have to check all the papers, also the system. That is finding true. The, finding the, the mistake, but finding we made mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And what is, what is the variance that you have for that one? It's like 3%, 5%, what is it? Mm, yeah, about 3%. 3%, yeah. Yeah. 3% mm -hmm. is like, maybe somebody counted not correctly. But yes, it 10%, happens. 10%, uh, 10% is not good, right? No, my God, no. <laughs> in right. our case, in our case, when we when we have the inventory each six months, if there are difference, uh, we pay the difference. Oh, I see. You pay the yeah, yes, that's and that's the way we have to do the best the best way or job every day because it means money for us. <laughs> Not good, right? So anyway, yes, it's so difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's so difficult. I know. Does the percent teacher depend of the standard or depend of the type kind of inventory? Because there are specific inventories where is normal the volatility, volatility, yeah. volatility. Yeah, yeah, volatility, uh, yeah. For example, the gasoline, when you take the inventory, depend the hour, uh, the, the quantity is not exact, of, well, it's not exact, uh, have you say accuracy? Uh -huh. No, accuracy, but the it's not accurate. The, accurate yes, the the percentage uh, acceptable for the difference depend of the kind of inventories. That is so true. I mean, uh, it's not the same to have, I don't know, nails. I mean, nails are millions in a warehouse, right? Maybe you miss. 25 and that is fine. But if you have computers and you miss two computers, uh, that is a big problem, right? So it's too expensive to, to lose two computers. So yes, and the, and the percentage of course is going to be almost always is around 3%, 5% maximum. So uh, it's very important that part. Also the inventory clerk labels the stock using radio frequency identifications or RFID tags paper tax or other type of labeling equipment. So as you can see, the clerk is the person that is there in the warehouse, is the one that counts, moves everything there, the inventories. So that is the kind of job they do. Okay, let me just move this because sometimes I move. Okay, the next one is going to be for, uh, let's see, uh, Susana. Hi. Hello. Can you tell me what is the number, please? Uh, yeah, it's going to be the production clerk. All of it, please. Okay. Helps companies take the production special by organizing and expecting the, for the workflow. Develops and shares production schedule. Develops and distributes work orders to their respective departments. I can see the last one. Oh, I can tell you. Uh, it says expedite the delivery of or distribution of supplies in order to speed up the material flow. Okay, I right. can see. But it's the deliver or distribution of supplies in order to speed up the material flow. Okay, perfect, good. So, uh, so this is a little bit above the inventory clerk. The production clerk is like the boss of the inventory clerk. So. This one is the one who helps companies stick to production schedule. So it's about time. What time is the inventory coming? What time is the raw material coming? What time is the, I don't know, anything. Uh, so they organize and expedite the workflows. So they are in the computer, right? They are not physical in the warehouse, but they are in the computer 
and they tell to the inventory clerk, move this, change this, take this, right? Also develops and shares production schedules. So timing is the main work of the production clerk. Also develops and distributes work orders to their uh, respective departments. So he is like the main link, the main contact from the warehouse to other departments to check what is going on, how is everything going. And the last one says expedites the delivery or distribution of supplies in order to speed up the material flow. So schedule and time is what he does. Definitely, that is the most important thing. Do you have any question about these two uh, positions? Any word that you don't know? I think it's clear. Very good, perfect. Let's move on there. So uh, the next one is going to be for Zulma. Okay, supply change, chain and logistic coordinator. Coordinates the, the order flow of all domestic and international shipments. Organize the company <laughs> warehouse management system to oversee the movement and storage of goods in the facility, oversees the staging, scheduling, and documentation of all important and exported goods, develop strong lines of communication with carriers, brokers, and freight forwarders. Very good. So this is a different one. It's about supplies, right? So he coordinates the order flow. So the papers, if we need to, yeah, to deliver different orders of production to different companies, then he, he is the one who knows that one. This is the first one. This is the third one. This is the fifth one of all domestic and international shipments. So this is very important. He knows what is going to produce the company. He also utilizes uh, the company's warehouse management system in case they have, of course, a WMS uh, to oversee the movement and storage of goods in the facility. So he's the one who, who sees everything inside of the warehouse. What is there inside? What do we need to produce? Oversees the staging, scheduling, and documentation of all imported and exported goods. This is one of the most important things. So what do you understand about overseas the staging? What are staging here in logistics? Anybody knows? Teacher, in supply chain logistics is very interesting all, uh, all um, activities that have that uh, start to uh, request the material or equipment or any to export for uh, the company uh, is very important uh, play with, uh, with that time and because because in this part is very important have a, a a time because all project all project work with on um, depend this 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 date for example the, the this date arrive all raw material or equipment uh, that uh, export very good, perfect, thank you. So that is it, I mean, since this is the person that coordinates the order flow and he sees everything, all the, uh, all the inventory in the, in the warehouse, so he needs to know the staging, meaning that he needs to know what, uh, what are the raw materials, uh, what is the in-process goods and the finished goods. So what is the percentage? So he can say, yes, we are going to accomplish, we are going to, complete the orders on time, right? Of course, the scheduling that is about time and documentation. 
And the last one, it says develop strong lines of communication with carriers, brokers, and freight forwarders. So he's the one who calls, hey, what happens with this container? Is it coming right now? I expect it for today. Is it coming? Because that is money, right? Teacher, uh, how do you say aduana? Um, let me remember. There is a word for that one because in logistics. It's, cost, it's custom. custom. Okay, that is it. Yeah, very good. Yeah, custom. Custom. Mm -hmm. Custom. Uh, it, it, this custom is a, a part of, of important in the supply chain in logistics because it's the final arrive. It is the is the custom where review all uh, all equipment or raw material or any that export because it's a finally process for uh, sent to the warehouse. Uh, yes, actually, regarding whenever something is going to be out of the country or coming, some raw materials or anything like that, uh, that is very important. The papers and the procedures, everything is important. Yes, all paper used in their, in their, <laughs> I, I, I forget, Aduana, please, Rosita. At uh, customs. At customs. <laughs> 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 okay, the paper is the use in this part. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah, and we need to, to know those ones. So imagine how many things you have to be uh, working with. So how many documentation, how many, how, a lot of things. Good. So. Yes, it's dependent documentation is the tax payment for this entry that exported. It depends of amount the payment tax. That is true, that is true. Definitely something that goes there into consideration. So the next one is going to be for, uh, let's see, Adriana. Okay, so supply chain and logistic. Um, SCL, customer service rep. Handlings inbound customer service calls and emails. Tell customers sold their logistic shipping and full, full, Fulfillment use uses issues issues oh, no. service as the as the front line between the company and its value customer uses a variety 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 of computer programs including including Microsoft Office and Excel as well as only communication tools like chat rooms okay very good so the supply chain and logistics or customer service rep is somebody that is in charge of of the service of uh, of the customer the final customer so he handles everything related to the customer like inbound customers calls or emails you know i'm, I'm expecting these products what happens and he goes and asks to the supply changing uh, chains what is going on with this one and he says no tomorrow okay tomorrow so it's like a change on that one, and he is the face of the customer, the one that is in front uh, of the desk, let's say. Helps customers solve their logistics, shipping, and fulfillment issues. Definitely, there are issues sometimes. Serves as the front line between the company and its valued customer. As I was telling you, is like the face of the company, right? Uses a variety of computer programs, including Microsoft Office and Excel, as well as online communication tools like chat rooms. Chat room, the chats are very important here, right? Because uh, he is like the face for the company to the customers, but they don't know about the procedures. So they ask other people, hey, what's going on with this? And the other people says, mm, it's not possible today, but tomorrow is going to be delivered. So this is kind of, kind of not that difficult. Any questions on this one? Okay, let's move on. See, this is the next level, the mid-level supply chain uh, position job. So the next one is going to be for, let's see, uh, Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, Forma. Uh, import expert specialist. 
in the face R is repeat for optimization and improvement. I, I got an organization and a chart logic, log, logistics information, uh, examine trans, transportation, I cost and pieces are when I days can be cool. Be cool. Okay, perfect. So this is okay. somebody that is very, very important. And it's very common here in El Salvador. So it's one of the most common uh, jobs, let's say, import expert specialists. The problem is that we don't have that many people that know that one. The most of the company, they hire people and they train them. So they are able to, to do all these jobs. So facilitates cross-border shipments. So he is about international importing and exporting right so he has the papers he uh, deals with the customs he uh, deals with all that kind of information and flows that um, the company needs so that everything flows in a very good way it ensures that shipments adhere to customs regulations so as you know there are laws for you to import and export even if it's raw material in process goods or finished goods, and there are laws, taxes, there are papers that you need for, to fulfill and they are the ones who do that. And track and document shipments. So they need to be checking where is going, where is right now the, the container that left this morning, uh, if it's going to be on time there with, uh, with the other country and counsels companies on issues like tariffs, insurance, and quotas. So about taxes, about what they need to pay, uh, about many things that are related with it. So this person is very, very important. Here in the, in the factories, uh, in every factory, there is one person like this because uh, it's one of the most important. Uh, what is insures? Do you remember what is insures? The oh my god, and, and, the, and, the, co the cost that you pay to for for some reason that the the merchandise, I think, insurance, yeah, no, that is yeah. insurance, and this is insurance, yeah. so insurance is, is just to be sure. Insurance. To be sure that something is accurate, right? Mm -hmm. That is it. good. The next one, uh, it says logistics analyst. That is going to be for Carla. Uh, analyze supply chain process. Identify areas right for optim optimization and improvement. Gathers, organizes, and share logistic information. Examines transportation costs and find areas where they can be cut. Very good, perfect. This is one of my favorite positions, you know? I really, I really like this. Uh, because, I mean, everything that you do here is, is very good. I mean, you need to analyze supply chain processes. So what is going on? Why this person is doing this? Why are not you doing this the way that you should be doing? Uh, why don't we do it this in a different way? Improvement. That is the key word of this position. Also identifies areas are ripe for optimization and improvement. Improvement, that is the word here. We can do better this. We can, the sad part, <laughs> The sad part is that sometimes you go to your boss and you say, there are five people working there, but we need only three. Um, that is not good for the people, but I mean, sometimes it's necessary, right? For the processes and procedures. Um, sometimes it's about wasting materials or machines or positions, you know? This should be better in, in front of there and not here. 
things like that, illumination, uh, many things. The other one says gathers, organize, and shares logistic information. So of course, you go to different departments and say, you need to improve this, you need to do better this, and things like that. And the other one says examines uh, transportation costs and finds areas where they can be cut money. This is just money. It doesn't matter what, if we can improve, we are going to do what we need to do. Uh, what is gathers? Do you know what is to gather? It's similar, it's similar like assemble. Very good. It's similar to assemble, to put together things, right? Very good. Do you have any questions on this? No question, teacher. No teacher. Good. Uh, Let's teacher, move on. I, I teacher, I remember when a uh, when a uh, pandemic, uh, all logistic uh, and transportation uh, service was stopped because uh, don't don't have people to work in this kind of service and was a uh, was was a bad time because, uh, for example, some project was stopped because without a uh, material or equipment or raw material don't work. But now I think it's regular day service. Yeah, that is true. For the pandemic, logistics was I mean, importation, exportation, move, move, moving, everything was very difficult. And yes. uh, was there an uh, impact in this kind of this? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the good thing is that at least here in El Salvador, we didn't have, I mean, uh, a big impact. I mean, it was difficult, but we had products, the pricing. It, it was difficult, but we worked in, and for the company it was the best moment because the company uh, in this time, uh, the, the demand of headsets, the demand of video conference equipment was uh, up. Yeah. That is true. So for oh, some... yes, they increased the, the price yes. so beca because for this problem, the they price up for logistic service. Yes. And, and then the final product, uh, to increase the price for the last consumer or, la or, or last customer is. Yeah, the final customer. Final so, customer, yes. So yeah, that is true. Not all the industries were in fact the same, right? For example, the companies that they, um, that they made the masks, I mean, they, they were so happy, right? They were like, oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember to the uh, construction material in this uh, in, in in the pandemic. They, I, they, they was a very increased the the price because in El Salvador don't have material for the construction. Yeah, that is true. So that that happened. Some companies, some industries were more affected and some others, they were very happy about it. So, okay, let's move on with the next. Uh, it's going to be for Ricardo. Hola. Hello. Uh, the first one, yeah, the the one that is about. Okay, okay. so plan chain, supply chain, and logistics, e transportation, especially the uh, operation for organizers, the global transportation service. Head, uh, head, uh, Actually, is the head. first one, the the one that is about. I'm sorry. So it's the one that is on the top, the number one, the first one. Supply chain is facility. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. It's a facility and efficient products and service sourcing process for the organizer. 
advisor and consult with the company and works with level staff members to develop efficient supply chain sourcing uh, strategy, a uh, building relationship, relationship with supply, negotiate those and develop contact agreement that ultimate the company the more profitable probably and social. Very good, perfect. So uh, this uh, position is uh, for a person that facilitates an efficient product and service sourcing process for the organization. So sourcing, meaning that we're going to get something from other uh, companies like services, like raw materials, like many things like that, okay? So it's going to be like uh, the person in touch with those kind of companies, suppliers and things like that. Advises and consults with the company and works with upper level staff member to develop efficient supply chain sourcing strategies. So this is the person that is like in charge of the supply. What is the best option for us to purchase raw materials, uh, procedures, uh, boxes, uh, packages, things like that builds relationship with suppliers. So it's very important that he has the right contacts and the confidence to talk with them. And the last one says negotiate. This is very important actually. When you are in that department, you need to, to try to get better deals, right? Better pricing from the supplies that we're going to need and develop contracts agreement that ultimately help their companies be more profitable and successful. Sometimes for big companies, uh, when you sign a contract with a supplier, there is like um, a punishment. There is like something that you put in the contract. So if you don't give me the supplies for my company, you need to pay a percentage. You need to pay a fine. Sometimes that happens in big companies as well. And that is in the contracts. And he is the one that is in charge of those negotiations. Good. The next one is supply chain and logistics, SCL, transportation, especially this is for Rose. Okay. Supply chain and logistics, SCL, transportation specialist. Leads operations organizations that provide transportation service. Heads up strategic transportation initiatives for retail or wholesale fulfillment operations. Selects carriers, transportation routes, and other key aspects of, of getting shipments from the warehouse dock door out to the customer's locations. Negotiates rates and terms with transportation providers, trucks, ocean carriers, and air freight providers. Very good. So this one, of course, is about transportation. So he's in charge. He's like the other, the other phase, right? The first one was supply, uh, all the raw materials, everything that we need to produce. This one is transportation. So whenever it's going to be moved, anything. So of course, everything related with transportation is going to be here. So for example, he leads operation for organizations that provide transportation services. So definitely he's in touch with all those people. Many of the companies, they don't have their own tracks. They hire other companies to transport their goods. Heads up strategic transportation initiatives for retail or wholesale fulfillment operations. So definitely, what is the strategy? How many trucks I'm gonna have? How many containers? When am I going to have them available? Um, things like that, right? The other one says selects careers, transportation routes, and other key aspects of getting shipments from the warehouse dock door out to the customer's location. So. He is the one who has different options, depending on what he wants to move, different roads, different strategies, different schedules. We're going to move this at night because at night there is no traffic and it's going to be more efficient. If the, if the transportation have to be 
I, uh, by air or by treatment because they, they, they reduce the cost. That is true. Maybe it's a little bit more expensive, but it's going to be faster and you can be more efficient. You are going to have more product on the other side, right? So that is very good. And of course, negotiate rates and terms with transportation providers, trucks, oceans, careers, and air freight providers, meaning that he also negotiates, but with the transportation companies, even if they are by plane, by train, by truck, by um, boats, anything that is something like that. Questions about this too? Okay, we're teacher, going to finish. Teacher, I have a question, but not is related to the topic. Okay. Uh, what what mean a uh, milestone? Milestone. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember. Let me just check into that one because I'm a little bit confused about other word. Hold on a second. So, because it's related with. Let me just check. I have something about that one here. Um, yeah, okay, so there are two different meaning of that. The first one is just a stunt set up beside the road. So that is something that I didn't know. The other one is the one that I knew that is an action or event making a significant change or stage in development. So when you say that I have a milestone in this process, for example, it means that this change created something good for the company. So it's like an adjective for something good in a change, something that changed for good. I don't understand. <laughs> it's an adjective. So for example, we can say, um, speaking about logistics in this class, it's been a milestone for me to understand better my job. So in that sentence, milestone means, oh, this is better. I understand better now. This is a very good change. Okay. Good, perfect. Okay, thank you. Good. So uh, we are almost finished. We are going to finish about the positions and then I'm going to check the attendance. So this is uh, upper staff level positions. The first one is going to be for Adriana. Okay, teacher, in purchasing engine or budget, Reach, research, researchers evaluate and buy products, procure goods to e either use in their firms everyday operation to sell to customer. Does the lab like work. work and research need needed to be up to be able to cost FP effectively effectively by large quantities of product needed to full full fulfill full the firm's business model create purchases orders and negotiate 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 price price points very good. So the purchasing agent or buyer also is very common in companies, even when they are not about logistics or products or things like that. So they are the ones who purchase things. Of course, this is in general. It's not only about supplies. The other one was about supply, the suppliers, the negotiation and things like that. But the purchasing agent, he purchases things for cleaning, uh, machines, computers, uh, systems, things like that. They purchase a lot of things. And well, be among the activities on this profile it says research, evaluates and buys products. Definitely that is the most important. So they evaluate the product. Is this what we need? Can we get something that is in a better pricing or in a better quantity or anything like that? So the other one says procure goods to either use in the firm's everyday operation to sell to customers. So for a company that is going to resell products is very basic, this one is very important. Does the legwork, legwork is like uh, research about the, 
uh, the steps for you to do something. So does the legwork and research needed to be able to cost effectively buy large quantities of products needed to fulfill the firm's business model? So that means that they are going to research and, and compare about the cost and about the benefit for the company. So to decide if this is going to be the good uh, option for me. It's not to, to buy the cheapest one. It's to buy the right one. So that is the difference. It's not just the chip because sometimes chip is not good, uh, but the the right, the right good, the right things for my company, and create purchase orders and negotiate price points. Of course, negotiation is also a point, and they don't pay for it, but they purchase. The boss says, "Well, we can spend ten thousand dollars in the system," and that person starts to research and check what will be the best option for this. Okay, the next one, distribution manager is going to be for Nelson. Hello, teacher, give me a moment. Okay. So distribution manager is for you. Oh, sorry. Okay. This distribution manager directly Overseas, the company storage, storage and or distribution operation, requip and strain warehouse personnel, develops warehouse safety policy and procedure, enable to smooth flow of goods within the facility from the site and the good until the product leaves the facility. Perfect. Very good. Thank you, Nelson. So yes, distribution manager, he directly oversees the company's storage and or distribution operations. So he sees everything in the company's stores, in the warehouse. He knows everything that is going on and he, he takes decisions about that one. Okay, so the other people, maybe they check, they know what is going on there, but he's the one who decides what is going to happen, if we need to move this out or in or anything like that. Recruits and trains warehouse personnel. Since he is the leader for this one, he is going to train people on that. Develops warehouse safety policies and procedures, definitely. He's the one who sits down and he checks about step-by-step step what they need to be done and what are the policies about security, about many other things. Enables the small flow of goods within the facility from receipt of goods until the product leaves the facility. So he, since he checks the, um, the processes, of course, he is the one who sees the flows, you know, all those graphics with the step-by-step -step things, tasks and things that you need to, to do. He is the one who designs that. He's the one who takes the final decision oh, about the warehouse, of course. Uh, any questions on this ones? Teacher, distribution manager is the same the vendor. Is the, the same of what? I'm sorry? B vendor? No. Now, the vendor is the one who is going to sell products, the one who looks for clients and things like that. Or a vendor is a person that supplies things. So the distribution manager is like the one that is um, deciding on what is going on on the warehouse about the movement of the inventory, something like that. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, and- The person, this... the person is the person. Uh-huh. Char... Sure. Uh, well, yeah, it's a person that is in charge of that part of the warehouse, right? Ah, okay, okay. Good. Okay, yeah. the next one. Operation manager is going to be for Mayra, Melanie Guevara. Okay, operations manager. Manage the overall operations for private or public companies. Coordinate production, sales, and distribution measures operational productivity, and identifies potential cost reductions. Very good. So this is the, the man who, who takes the, the decisions about almost everything here, right? So manages the overall operations for private or public companies, everything. I mean, human resources or whatever is going to be related to the operations is going to be the the man who takes the final decisions, coordinates production, sales, and distribution. So he has the three, 
the three levels of decision. I mean, production, what is going to be produced, how it's going to be produced, sales, how is it going to be sold, how is it going to be um, the pricing and things like that, distribution, the ways that it's going to be that. But he's the one who takes the final decisions. The other people are the one who comes to him and provides the information and he says, no, let's do it this way or let's change these things. Measures operational productivity, definitely. Rates, percentages, he manages that one. Accuracy, achievements, KPIs. So he is the one who handles all those things. Identifies potential cost reductions, definitely. He always wants to reduce costs. He always wants more money for the company. He is the main objective of the operations manager. And the last one is go into B4. Let's see. Sell me. Operation manager, teacher. Supply chain manager, please. Supply chain manager. Procure parts and raw materials needed to produce the company's goods. Evaluate suppliers in negotiate contracts with vendors. Controls inventory levels for cost effectiveness, negotiations, shipping price, and transportation arrangements with contract providers. Very good. So this is like the manager that is in charge of everything that is in movement. So the operations manager is the one who takes the final decision about, in general, sales distribution and production. The supply chain manager is the one that is in charge of everything that is in movement, what is coming in, what is coming out, uh, pricing about that one, transportation, uh, contracts, and things like that. Good. Any questions about this part? Clear as horchata as always. Okay, so we're going to check the attendance because, well, we spend a little bit of more time in that one. And then we're going to check the book. And then I have an activity for you today. Let's see how it goes. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here, teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Salmi Chavez. Present, teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Lo Urdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present, Present teacher. Good, good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez Mejia. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura Lopez Garcia. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Okay, so we are going to, actually we're going to do the activity today. So let me just check something. Um, this is something different that we're gonna do today. I like different things that you may know. <laughs> so first question, do you know what a riddle is? A riddle. <laughs> No. No. 
Do you okay. want? I'm sorry. Did you want? Um, no, that is uh, something Again, different. Again, repeat. A riddle. What is a riddle? All, all question. Please. Mm -hmm. No, the, the question is what is a riddle? Oh my I God, is, is teacher is- When you say, is what you say, um, that the person want how to, uh, oh my God, guess, guess what? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, guess what? Good, perfect. Something like, uh, it's something so, like this, guess what? Guess you what? You say something and we have to guess what is. <laughs> exactly. So a riddle, if you see the movie, The Batman, he appears there, the Batman. So it's like questions, like clues that I can tell you and you tell me the answer. So we are going to play a little bit some riddles. Okay, so I'm going to tell you and you try to tell me the answer. Okay, just a few and then we're going to continue with the book because we need to move on. Okay, so let's see how it goes. The first one, ah, this is a very easy one, okay? Let's see who gets the correct answer. How many months of the year have 28 days? One. 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 All the months. Sorry. All the months. All the months. All the months. All the months, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the the oh. other mom. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah, that is a riddle. Now you know. So how many months of the year have 28 days? All the months have 28 days. Okay. Only February has only 28, but I didn't say only. I say how many have 28 days in, in total. Good. So that was the first one. Let's see this one. This is a little bit harder. It belongs to you, but your friends use it more. What is it? Dun, 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 repeat, please. Of course, I can repeat. It belongs to you, but your friends use it more. What is it? The name. Good. <laughs> that is the answer. It's your name because it's your name, but you don't use it. Other people use your name. So <laughs> that is the answer for this one. Good. Let's see. I have a couple more. Let's see. Okay. In the world, there is only one word in the dictionary that spell wrong. What word is it? In all the dictionary, there is only one word that is spelled wrong. Which one is it? Wrong? Wrong. Wrong, definitely. It's wrong. <laughs> that is the only one that spelled wrong. Yeah, it's like a game of words right that you place in, in the system <laughs> okay good hey you're very good at this next time i'm gonna bring something harder let's see i have some others let's see um okay this is a good one what two things you can never eat for breakfast what two things you can never eat the lunch, and the lunch and the dinner. That is it. The lunch and the dinner. <laughs> because <laughs> they have to take them in a different time. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's see. Okay, which word becomes shorter when you add two letters to it? Which word becomes shorter when you add 
two letters to it. That's the last one I promise. So, which word becomes shorter when you add two letters to that word? <laughs> Maybe short. That is the answer. Very good, Melanie. Because short, when you add shorter, it means that it's smaller than the other one, right? Shorter. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. So uh, these questions were for a book for a second grade. Next time, I'm going to bring uh, words or, oh or riddles God. that are... <laughs> more difficult you know <laughs> but it's a good a good activity so we can relax a little bit right and then think a little bit and check into it <laughs> good good okay so now we're going to continue with the book because we need to move on where is the book oh it's here okay my friends so we're going to start with unit two of course this is about logistics oopsie I moved it too much. So it says, uh, I will be able to explain the relevance of the seven R's in logistics. And in the number one says, what are the responsibilities of our logistician? Uh -huh, anybody? Now that this is a, like a review, what are the responsibilities of a logistician? I'm going to say the product yeah. and every raw material in transport and, and what? Uh, yeah, actually, that is true. I mean, uh, logistician yeah. is the one that takes care about the whole flow of materials, products, and things like that one, right? So to know, to know, uh... Uh, flow inventory and, and sales or outside the material of material. Very good. That is yes. it. Uh, go provides, ahead. Provides product or document or materials in time. Very good. In time is a very nice word. Good. Perfect, so, and it says, what do you think logistics is about? Oh, we know that already. So we're going to check the number two, which is the conversation. Okay, uh, as usual, we're going to repeat. Okay, I'm going to say, you repeat just to check some pronunciation, okay? Sales we go down this month, Pam. Sales we go down this month, Pam. Good. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. There was, there was a problem with the order form the website from and the, the website. The 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 distribution center. Center. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. Oh, oh no, please call the manager from the receiver batteries. We have to inform them to the of the right storage temperature. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I really did. I have to do One of the crates was not handled correctly, and the batteries are damaged. Very good. Um, I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. 
I will we are going to call them personally to request for the damage to the money. Send the money back to the system. They will not know what to do. No. Perfect. Let's check some vocabulary. Let's see what's the problem on order forms. What is an order form? A request. Okay, a form for you to request to purchase something, right? Good. Uh, let's see the limited um, managers distribution. Let's see. Uh, right storage. Something. Crates. What are crates? Boxes. Like boxes made of wood, right? So for you mm -hmm. to, or sometimes they are like pallets for you to move things. Good. Uh, handler damaged. I don't believe that is any other word. Do you have any questions here? Okay, so we are going to practice, okay? As usual, the conversation is for us to practice. So Rose and sell me. Okay. Alex, teacher or Pam? Whatever you want. You can start. Any person can start. Alex. Okay. You start, tell me. Thank you. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the other forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no. Please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the rice storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the characters was not handled correctly, and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Very good, perfect. Now, mm -hmm. Nelson and Oswin. Yes. Okay, I start. Yes. Say we go down this month. Bam. There was a problem with the order one from the website, and the products were not delivered to the right distribution center. Oh no! Please. Call the manager from the distribution center that receiver or battery. We have to inform them of the writing storage temperature. I already that, that but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the battery are a match. I will call them personally to request for the damaged battery to be sent to the manufacturing. They will know what to do. Good, perfect. Now, Guadalupe and Carla. Okay. Uh, Says will go down the mom's pump. There are there was a problem with the other form from the website and product were not delivered to the right distribution center. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution centers that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature tem temperature. I already did. But there is something I have to tell you. Uh, one of the crates was not handled correctly and batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Very good, perfect. Now, Mayra and uh, Ophelia. Okay. I start. Okay. Sales will go down this month, Pam. 
there was a problem with the order from forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh, I know, please. I call I the manager I for the distribution service. I just receive all battery. I will have to inform I day for the air storing and temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will, I call, I this personally. I do the cash, I for the damage battery, I do be six to the manufacturing. I did with notes I want to do. Good, perfect. Now, Ana Michelle and Sandra Mendes. Okay, I'm start. Okay. Sales, we go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order from, with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution centers that supply our batteries. We have to import them on the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Perfect, thank you. Now, Rafael and Flor de Maria. Okay, me, Alex. Okay. okay. Sales will go down this month. Um, there was a problem with the order form from the web website and the product were not delivered to the right distribution center. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution center that reside our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the demanded batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay, good, perfect. Now, Jancy and Pamela. Yes. Hello, Jansi. Alex. Yes. Okay, go yes. ahead. Hello, me, Alex. Sales we got done this month, Pam. There was a problem with the other parts from the website and the product were not delivered to, to the right distribution centers. Hello, Pamela. Are you here with us? Okay, not a problem. Susana, could you please help with Pam? Hello, Susana. Oh no, please continue. <laughs> I guess she's not here either. Sulma, could you please help with the second part? Yes. Um, oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are demanded. 
Demand. 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 I will call them personally. Personally. To request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Perfect. Very good. Now, Ricardo and uh, Adriana. Okay. okay. Mm, me, Alex. Okay. Sales, sales will go though this month. Um, there was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please kill. Kill the call the manager from the distribution center that's ready review uh, or battery. We have to inform the then of the read store temporary. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are dam damaged. I will call they personally to request for the damaged battery to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Perfect, thank you. I guess everybody did it, right? So no one is missing, I guess. Oh, Ada Patricia is missing. And uh, it's gonna help. I don't know if the other people uh, are not here anymore. <clears throat> What's mean? Could you please help her? Okay, teacher. Uh, say we'll go down this month. Yes, Alex. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, say we'll go down this month, Bam. There was a problem with the order from, uh, excuse me, for from the website and the product were not delivered uh, to the right distribution center. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution center that receiver or battery. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already that, but there is something I have to tell you. One of, one of the credits was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged battery to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Perfect, thank you. So just uh, some words for uh, to be careful on the pronunciation. Let's see, other form from delivered. Remember, delivered. Uh, what is the other one? Received. Distribution centers that received. That is very important. Um, storage. storage. The other one is crates. Handled. Damaged. And let's see what else. Those are the only ones. Very good. Sure, I have a doubt with center. Uh, I I listen how like centers. That is true. So American people, American English is uh, they pronounce like that center. So it's something that you can do. British people they say center. Actually, it's uh, written differently for like theater. Uh, in in British English is going to be sent. R E center and in American is center E R. But the pronunciation is valid in both ways, center or center. That is good. Okay. Okay. For example, call center, call center. That is true. Yeah. American people they always speak that way. So the center, the um, the theater, things like that. So both are, are valid. Water, no water, but water. So that is it. Right. Good. So there are some questions about that, the one that we already did. It says, what caused the products to be delivered to the brown distribution centers? What do you think here? Sorry. 
So what caused the products to be delivered to the round distribution centers? Because there was a problem with the orders from the website. Very good. That is the reason why. Because there was a problem with the order form from the websites. And the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Good. Number two says, what happened to their products? They don't handle correctly the batteries, so uh, that are damaged. Yeah, for the batteries, that is true. So they were not handled currently. Actually, the crate, the whole crate was not handled correctly. So they were not in good conditions. Uh, who will Pam call to receive the damaged products? So number three, who will Pam call to receive the damaged products? She's going to call the, the, the managers of the distribution centers. Very good. He, she's going to call the distribution centers managers so to request the damaged batteries, right? So very good. Perfect. That was nice. We already saw the videos and we're going to continue with, uh, it says building vocabulary. One of the most popular concepts of the logistics management is the concept of the seven hours. Match the headlines to their corresponding examples, compare the answers with a partner. So, hey, sometimes we can practice a little fluency. You know, fluency is fast. Uh -huh. Fast is very important, but it's not good if we don't say the correct pronunciation. Right? Sometimes it's difficult, but that is going to allow you to pronounce better. So for example, in this way, you can read this fast. For example, one of the most popular concepts of the logistics management is the concept of the seven hours. Fast. Match the headlines to their corresponding examples. Compare your answers with a partner. It's fast. my dream teacher. It's my dream. <laughs> but we can, we can try. We can try, not always. Sometimes it's better for you to speak slowly so everybody understands, right? But sometimes it's a good idea for you to practice like uh, fast, uh, fluent things. Okay, so what we are going to do here is according to what we just read, match the headlines. So this one that are here, right product, right place, right customer, right quantity, right condition, right time, right price. You are going to match those according to what is the description here. So number one, let's see. Ada Patricia, could you please read number one? What well, is this Amazon? Amazon most ensure products are delivered within two days if the consumer can get it within two days from some other company. So Amazon must ensure, must, look at the word, must ensure products are delivered within two days if the customer can get it within two days from the same other company. So what is that? Right product, right place, right customer, right quantity, right condition, right time, right price. Right time. Right place. Uh -huh. Right place. Right place. Right place. Right place. Uh, everybody agrees on this one? Right place. Right, right, right time. time. <laughs> okay, some people said right time. Some people said right place. Let's analyze. It says Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. That is the key word, two days. What is two days? Uh -huh. Time. Nine. Of course, it's time. Very good. Perfect. Number two, could you please help us with that one, uh, Michelle? Okay. Dell must have a strict controls and processes to ensure that products ordered for their website are delivered to the right locations. Good. Which one is this one? Right place. Right place. Right place. <laughs> 
Ah, okay. Now this is place. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three. Uh, let's see. It's going to help. Zulma, could you please read number three? Yes. Um, grocer has to meet quantity requirements from their customer and ensure that the quantity of, of product is not affected by perishability. I don't know what that means. Perishability. Perishability. And that means that uh, the products are not going to be dead. They are not going to be good anymore. So that is perishability. So that's why it's called grocers. Grocers has to meet quantity requirements from their customers and ensure that the quantity of the product is not affected by perishability. So they need to know how many days the mangoes or the it's rice is time. going to be. Uh -huh, is there, yeah. It's going to be good. So number three, what is going to be? Right, right quantity. quantity. Right quantity, definitely right. Yeah, that is right, right quantity. quantity. Uh, number four is going to be for uh, Nelson. Number four. Mm -hmm. A local ketchup, ketchup manufacturer may serve ketchup to retire in the package and the label. label Border and the abort consumer in big cans. Okay, so it says a local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchups to retailers in packaged and labeled bottles mm -hmm. and to a bulk consumer in big cans. So, what is that? Dry condition. Dry condition. Everybody agrees? Yeah, we. Right customer. Right customer. Mm, that's interesting. Okay. So depending on the two retailers, for example, they can sell uh, packaged and labeled bottles, but for consumers in big cans. So yeah, it might be, it might be the, the right customer. That is possible. Let's check the other two and verify on that one. Number six is going to be for Carla. Products that the customers need either today or in the future, smartphones, laptops, HD TVs, etc. Okay, so products that the customer needs either today or in the future. So what is that? Right price. Right price. Yeah, it doesn't say price, but I guess it's linked to that one. Yeah. The right price so depending on what is going to be the product is going to be that one and the last one number seven is going to be for Jancy number six teacher uh, we didn't read oh number five is the one that we read right sorry mm -hmm. so number six Jancy six mm. Product that the co that the customer needs here today or in the future: A smartphone, laptop, HD TVs, etc. Okay, which one is on this one? Uh, well, um, anybody? <laughs> Right product. The right product. Yeah, it might be. Very good. The last one now, yes, is the last one. Uh, Pamela, are you here with us? I guess not. Uh, Ricardo, could you please read the number seven? is out with Pamela. Okay. So let's see. Rafael, could you please read number seven? H U L U has to warranty that sufficient 
amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customer. Very good. What will be this one? Right quantity condition. Right condition, maybe not. Right quantity. It could be a right quantity. Also, it can be the right place because it says are available in the warehouse. They are right. Uh, but it could be also right quantity because it's talking about amounts of products. Good. Let's check some vocabulary here. Uh, and sure, we knew that already within also. Let's see. Uh, street control to process the insured products order on the website. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, quantity requirements. Yeah. No words here. Perishability. Remember that perishability is when something has a very short lifetime. So it's going to be not good. For example, fruits, vegetables, things like that. You can keep them for a long, long time, right? Uh, at least not with the right conditions. And then it says, uh, local catch manufacturer may sell cancer, so it's other things. Label, what is to label? And the number four says in packaged and labeled bottles. What is label? Identify the product. Very good. Sometimes it's like a sticker with the information from the product or the explanation of what is there inside of that one. Good, perfect. Let's see, bottles. Bulk. Do you remember what is a bulk? Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, could you pronounce la label? Label. Label. Yeah, label. Label. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay, everybody, what is bulk? In the number four. Bulk is something, something in mass. Very good. Uh, it's not a little quantity, but. Uh, a lot of a something. Lot. Good, mm -hmm. good. Uh, and sure, we know that already. Let's see what else. Retailer, products, customers. Um, what guarantee? What is a guarantee? To guarantee. The time when the company first one for the pro. Yeah, it's when, yeah, company tells you that for sure this is going to work or else I'm going to change it or I'm going to refund you, right? Remember the, to guarantee that is with G and that is the verb and warranty with W is the name, the warranty, okay? Very good. Let me see if there is any other thing here. Uh, no, there is no other. Okay, so uh, we're going to stop here and tomorrow we're going to continue. Before we finish, go ahead. Teacher, uh, in the homework, the first homework in this unit, the second concept is not in the platform. So that means that the rating doesn't have 2020. Uh, on the, you say 2.2 in the homework? Yes, in the okay. 2.2. And which, uh, which number is the one that you say? Uh, the first in one. The, the yes, first one. In the first homework, uh -huh. yes. We mentioned Amazon, most sure. Ah, there, okay. are two, there are two yes. in one, Amazon and Dell. There are this oh, I see. Two in, in, the one. Platform, in the platform, uh -huh. the, the second concept uh, doesn't appear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is crazy. Look at this. Okay, and I'm going to report. I'm going that's to report. the way that we have 18 points. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> in like um, a question in one activity teacher. Yeah, they're together, right? They blend it. So, yes, yeah. Like question. Okay, I'm going to report that one. So it's corrected. When it's going to be corrected? Only God knows, but it's going to be correct. Okay, so I'm going to report that one, of course. So, any questions before we move on? Everything is clear as usual in this class. <laughs> Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I hope you have a very wonderful night. 
not so hot, no mosquitoes, and dream in English. Remember that. It's so with, with logistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need to check everything is working fine, right? So you, we can go to bed. I'm going to check the attendance then. So uh, let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Flor, for you is the 101 today, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, good, good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Hola, here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good night. Good night. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present. <laughs> Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Good night. Good night. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Okay, perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I hope you have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Be careful. Okay. Okay, be careful. Good night. night. Good, Good night. night. Good dreams. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, Flor, how are you? Hello, teacher. I am tired. Me too, you know. <laughs> these days have been so difficult, but anyways, we almost finished. So, yeah. okay, I believe you have experience in the one-on-ones already. So the first question is, how do you feel that you are moving on? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are? Uh, in my case, I I see uh, the very interesting the methodology. Um, I like, uh, but I uh, the topic no understand or, or little um, because. Um, no use it in my area, the, the work. I see, yes, but, sometimes, but, go ahead. But I like the, the, the methodology and, and the vocabulary is new. I learned. Very good, I'm very happy that you are learning. And I know, I know that sometimes some topics are kind of difficult since this is English for job, right? And so some topics are going to be kind of uh, complicated, but the good thing is that you are learning new things and also new vocabulary and many other things that is going to be involved. So that is, is very good. Uh, yes, you were going to say something, tell me. I understand a little, um, because the, the words new for me, but I, I and understand the, the, the topic. 
so so okay that's very good perfect and uh, do you have any questions about any topic from this or any other module in the past no no teacher i i clear the 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 topics and maybe the the profundization the in the topic no 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 uh, no much yeah i know the topic is a little bit difficult but if you understand the ideas and you are willing to participate yes. that is good yes because the participate the participation is little the the, the for those topics yeah i know i know that sometimes uh, if you don't understand something you better don't don't say that's why sometimes i bring other activities right so we can change a little bit and mm -hmm. and, and the, the, the practice the the, the dialogue uh, is very good i like very nice perfect mm -hmm. let me ask you something in general what is the skill in english that you believe is the more difficult for you i mean listening speaking reading writing, understanding in general? Uh, maybe the, the, the conversation, the, the, the vocabulary, and it, the, the speaking. So speaking is the most difficult for you? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. I, I understand the, the reason or the pronunciation so so uh, the, but the the vocabulary is is little okay perfect so and do you practice uh, english with somebody else's or only here in the class uh, usually the practice in duolingo ah okay Yes, and sometimes no, no, no everything. I see, perfect. So I never use that platform. How is that platform? Is it good? Do you do you practice nice there? The, the platform. The platform for Duolingo. How is that? Ah, yes, yes, I I, I like. So I understand that you you speak with somebody in English and you teach Spanish, something like that, or only English. Um, I, I don't understand. Okay. Uh, how does this work? How is there in Duolingo? How, what do you do there? Ah, only English. Only English. Yes. So, but you are not with teachers, right? You are with a person in another country. Yes. Okay, very good. That is interesting. And uh, how often do you practice in Duolingo? Uh, the... uh, usually, the finally the class English oh, on really? or, 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 or the the weekend. Oh, the weekend. Yeah, that is a good thing. Yeah, if you continue practicing, everything will be fine. I know these topics are a little bit complicated, but whenever you want to speak, if you want to give an opinion, just practice. Remember that important is English. If it's yeah. not correct about logistics, it's not important. Uh, of course, it's important because we're going to learn, right? But the most important is the English. So if you need to say something, of course. Also, if you have questions, remember that you can chat with me in the group or directly. And of course, it will be a pleasure to help you. Okay, teacher, thank you. It's a pleasure. Anything else before we finish? I like the methodology. I'm very happy. That's really, good. Really like. Okay, I'm very happy. So let's continue learning and practicing. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a very good night.
Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.